Hey, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a 1.9 Spigot Minecraft server. So 1.9 just came out. I heard it's one of the best things and it has so many changes and it's just really awesome. So hopefully you guys are wanting to move on and move forward with your servers by upgrading to 1.9 or maybe you're new and you want to create a server for the first time and of course you want to have the most recent version. So right now 1.9 is the most recent version or if you just want to upgrade this is a video for you. I'm going to show you guys exactly how the easiest way that I know of to create a Minecraft server. So what we want to do first things first we're gonna to want to create a server folder we're gonna put all our stuff in. So I'm just gonna call this one 1.9 server you can call it whatever you want obviously but now what you want to do is you want to click on the first link in the description so here we go we got the first link in the description it is a bucket GUI now you're like what is this it's a program that we can use that will basically create our server for us so when we use this it will just create all the files all the folders that we need it will do it all for us really easy to use I love using this thing I use it today so let's go ahead and download that and this comes off the official bucket website so it's definitely official so there we got that we can go ahead and drag that inside of our 1.9 folder but we're gonna need another thing we're gonna need the spigot 1.9 dot jar so you can come to this website and they have all the dot jars this is a key thing for your server you're gonna need a dot jar of whatever version you want but for this video I'm gonna be doing 1.9 because it's the latest so you can either click on spigot latest dot jar or if you're watching this from the future then you can click on spigot 1.9 snapshot make sure you do not click on spigot api 1.9 that is not what we want we want spigot 1.9 so download that and it's going to take us to this money thing that's cool you know so let's just wait five seconds skip this ad then there we go all right cool so now it's done downloading we can keep that now we can drag that into our 1.9 server whenever it wants to finish so like i said just drag that into the 1.9 server folder that we just created and it should also have bucket GUI. So now if you don't see this Java icon right here, you're going to want to re-download and install a fresh version of Java. This always helps and you want to make sure that you want to keep your Java updated. So that's a good thing to do if you don't see the Java icon. Just click on the link in the description that should take you to the download. It's pretty fast. Just reinstall it. Do a fresh install. But besides that, I'm sure it's working for all of you guys. So let's go into the bucket GUI. So go ahead and open that up. It's going to start. It looks pretty clean. I like the way it looks. Basically, I'm going to give you a rough tour, pretty short tour of what this is. So from the console, you can basically see all the things that players say, all the commands that are executed. You can type in anything you want to say to the server, even when you're not on it. So pretty cool. You can see all the players that are on here right here. You can start, restart your server, and then you can see all your players right here. You can opt them from here. Pretty cool stuff. That's where we're going to create our server at, the starter tab any issues and besides that um, that's pretty much all you need to know so let's go ahead and go to the starter tab where we're gonna create our server make sure it's on spigot because that's what we're doing we're creating a spigot server now it should show the Java version that you have so if it doesn't like I said if you're getting any problems make sure to download reinstall fresh version of Java but mine is 8 64 bit I have Java 8 and I'm on a 64 bit computer and a cool way to check just open up your control panel go into uninstall program and we're not uninstalling, we're just going to see what our Java version is. There we go. Java 8, update 66, 64 bit. But this is just a way to check what version that you have. So there we go. Now, the next thing that you want to do, we're going to point to where a .jar file is that we downloaded. So click on these three dots and then go to your server folder and click on the spigot dot jar open that there we go and now based on the computer that you have so let's say you have an 8 gigabyte computer you can obviously allocate more RAM that you want to use so if you want to use 4 gigabytes you can go all the way somewhere over here and I would not recommend changing the minimum just keep that the same and we're pretty much ready to launch our server so let's go ahead and do that so there we go if you read this it says we need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server so let's go in our server folder there's the EULA click on edit change this to true this is what you have to do for every server that you create so let's go ahead and save that now and there we go so now we can restart this so it can actually generate all the files so if you see any errors just ignore them this is common when you first start up your server and it's just going to create all the worlds and stuff so let's go ahead and wait All right, so now that our server is done, we are pretty much done. Now, unless you want to play on your server by yourself, then we're going to need to port forward so that our friends can join our server and play with you or so other random people can join your server. And yeah, so we can go to this forwarder tab. Now, this is experimental, so it might not work for everyone. So like I said, this might not work for everyone. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. Description, Minecraft server, that's the name of the port that we're going to port forward. 
we're going to want to port forward to the port 25565. We're going to need to open up this port so that people can connect to it and join your server. So the IP should already be there. You don't have to change that. You're going to want to make sure you tick on TCP, hit add. So it might take a little five seconds or something. Mine just went pretty fast. So there we go, Minecraft server, and it worked. So now let's try UDP. Click on UDP and hit add. And there we go. So now we have both ports port forwarded to UDP and TCP at the port 25565. Now if this didn't work for you, there are a ton of videos on how to port forward Minecraft servers and you can YouTube it. I'm sure they have a tutorial for your specific router even. This should work for most of you, but like I said, it's experimental so it might not. And I also might include, by the time you watch this, a tutorial on how to port forward. So if you guys wanna watch that, that might be in the description by the time you're watching this. I don't know how far in the future you guys might be watching this, obviously, I don't know. Hopefully this does work for you. This works for me perfectly. I always used to have have trouble port forwarding but this actually fixed it and it's a really easy way all you have to do is click on that and that and hit add and yeah so the next step that you want to do is you want to go to ipchicken.com so this is the IP address that you're going to give your friend or the random players to join your server you're going to want to give this to them and if your port forwarding worked then they should be able to join through this so so besides that you guys can add any plugins in I do plugin tutorials on my channel almost every day or I try to so if you guys want to check out really cool plugins and tutorials some of the most biggest plugins then make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to drop a like if this video helped you out in creating a 1.9 or upgrading a 1.9 server so I'll see you guys next time peace out